Welcome back to Mega Man X, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be tackling the last of the Sigma Fortress. Well, we're off to a great start. First five seconds in, I already died in a pet. Oh boy, okay. I just want to get this done and over with. Just like, put it in the freaking movie maker and just get it done, out of the way, upload it, and never ever ever have to touch this game again unless I really want to do so. Come on, back. Thank you. And now I gotta wait. I thought that would help. I thought that would help. You know, if I didn't have evident wives, I would be facing a game over by now. No, I didn't even wait to wait. Download this, actually. Come on, really? Such dick enemy placement. Well, that's probably me just not being patient. So I guess it is dick enemy point. Dick enemy placement by means of impatient people. Anyways, uh, I did not download this illegally. I am playing this on enemy way. Yes, yes, platform. Thank you, solid ground. I do have, like, most of the X games from Mega Man X1 to Mega Man X6 on the PlayStation 2 for the, uh, collection. The, uh, collection, I have the collection. How many more times am I gonna say that word, collection? Ah, here we go, Shell Penguin! Okay, that's what's the boss I was thinking of. Shell Penguins... Um... Shell Penguin's weakness is the fire wave. We didn't have it in the beginning because we had no weapons. Besides our X Buster. Now we do have all the weapons. Now it's time to show each and every single weakness off. Ow. <laughs> so unless you get him stuck in a corner like that, you can just cheese him like that. Ow! No, I want to see that's a sway attack there. Actually, wasn't uh, Mega Man... Yeah, it was. In the Mega Man X remake for the PSP, uh, Mega Man Mavicon X. I tempted to say Mega Man X Mavicon, but... No, that's not the case. MINE! MINE! All mine! Well, speaking of mines, here's some miners. Ow. From blowing, blowing, Alma Domodelo, I am sorry. Ow, okay, okay, I get you, tough. Jesus Christ, get off my fucking ass. Uh, you got two ways to go up here. I think this is the safest way possible. You know what you're doing. Yeah, that was the safest way possible. Got through that entire shaft without even taking a single hit. As opposed to those jackasses to the right. Alright, Storm Eagle, round two. Same as before, only that now we're going to be utilizing his weakness, which is the chameleon stain. Actually, the chameleon sting is pretty handy here. Because you can actually attack him while he's hovering like that. I don't know how else to dodge those. Ow! 
those dive attacks. I don't know how to dodge them effectively. Well, it doesn't really matter. Oh, great. I was children with Oh, my God. Maybe that's how Storm Owl got his boost in the power with the Matrix. I believe it was Mega Man X4. Yeah, it was Mega Man X4 because I have yet to play Mega Man X5 and ugh, X6. I have yet to play those two games. But I do remember specifically Storm Owl being X4? No, wait, was it? Storm Owl's weapon was the, uh, was the, well, like, um, homing laser thing with the, uh, like, trajectory thing. Ah, like right the banger! This boss is pretty simple, actually, just don't... The walls will really eventually close in, see, like here. That means it's going to use his nose to attack you. Other than that, he does uh, attack you with its eyes and such. I believe the red one only fires projectiles. Blue one charges at you. I don't, I don't remember what the green one does. Now it's just bounces around. All you have to do is just keep away from the spikes down on the floor there. Green fires one projectile, it's just that the red ones fire off like a bullet hell kind of thing. Well, I guess I shouldn't say bullet hell, I should say, uh... I should say... I should, I should say a spread shot. Anyways, huh, this boss is taking forever. Yeah, that one, my mind is wearing off pretty quickly here. Oh, and an awesome moves! Okay, I wasn't aware of that. I am terribly sorry, people. I am terribly sorry. I totally forgot the red one does charge at you and shoot projectiles. So it's kind of like an all in one kind of thing, both a green and a blue. So I guess that's its ultimate attack, it's... It's that red eye. <laughs> For very dry eye, use clear eye. Protects the student which is moisturizes. Wow. At least I think I got that commercial right, more than likely I didn't. But I don't give a damn. Ooh, this one's pretty good. I want the intro of that, just, just like a random, like, it's like you're, it's like you're trying to sneak into his fortress even though you're technically just wild and baiting it. Anyways, now we have Armad Armadillo here, again. Second first, same as the first. I was trying to think of how that thing went. Now. Come on, enough with your low out attack. You're not a Pokemon. Get out of here. Okay, that is how many bosses so far? Are we like at the halfway point? Let's see, we're done with Boomer Coinger. We've dealt with Chill Penguin, Storm Eagle, Armored Armadillo. I could have sworn we dealt with one other. Well, we're going to deal with a number five here. Ah, yes, Chameleon Sting. Sting Chameleon! I am sorry. For confusing you for my weapon. No, we haven't taken out one octopus yet. I think that is the next boss here. 
Actually, I think this is the stage with the most bosses. To solve that, thing, we had to take out Armored Armadillo, and now we're taking out Stain Chameleon. I don't remember a level after this, besides... I don't remember um, any other level besides the final level where you fight Sigma. Oh, Spark Mandro! Hello! Face you! Ow! You better stop me, will you? Ow! You're no Mike Tyson either! Any other old NES games can I reference with this guy? <laughs> Probably not much. Oh god! I bet you know what's coming up here! Flow on the water, you know what that means! Whoa! Uh, that was not the video player, actually. That was the... Yeah, that's why I'm going back to my main menu there. I don't understand what was causing that graphical glitch. That was actually part of the game. Well... Okay, maybe it wasn't actually part of, part of the actual game, but still, it was just an Emmy way of fucking- Look at that! Look at that! That's, a, that's amazing! I've never seen that before! I just never have! I never had this kind of problem with Mega Man X1. I don't get it, that's like the, uh... It's like that glitched up portrait whenever you play Legend of Zelda Ugly of Time on an emulator. You, usually, because of the limitations of your computer, there's usually a glitched out mess of where the Wake's portrait is supposed to be at. It's a very common glitch. Oh, great, now we got these assholes again. Ugh. Next, boss. Next. Oh, Flame Mammoth. Hello. Am I going to show off that glitch? Actually, wasn't there another, like, glitch? No, it's an actual thing, actually. Am I going to show off that thing? Probably not. I was probably getting tired of... ...of this game at this point. I don't know. I, I sure am getting tired of having to do commentary for this game. I know that for a sheer fact. I think we're at the end boss. Yes, we are. There's a dead end. That means we're at the end boss. Of this level. And that should be all the bosses. Let's see. Storm Eagle, Chill Penguin. This boss, I can't remember the, remember the name of. He can... The top half can charge at you, so does the bomb half. Again, graphical glitches right there. Shoots off an energy ball like that, that tends to homing target you. Good thing it's homing target abilities is about as useful as the fire missiles in Twisted Metal. Well, it just has a slight homing range, not much.
Um, it can crush you. It causes massive damage. Best way to deal with this guy is the Horming Torpedo, I believe. Because its hitbox is the top half. Anyways, I believe... Yeah, because after this... After this, the next part should land me on Sigma's... On Sigma's fight. Because part 7 is indeed the last part. Alright! Finally! Ugh, let's end this game once and for all. So I can edit, and I can get this just done and over with. That's all I want to do, just get done and over with. Upload this to YouTube and never ever touch it again unless I really, really want to play this game again. Ah, see you in the next part.